Salutations to foes. This is your fabulous leader, the Queen of Shade, coming at you with another special presentation. We are wrapping up the end of 2021. It has been a very difficult year for many of us. We have had to climb out or begin to climb out of a pandemic, uh, a depression, meaning, and financial ruin. But we're still here and we're still doing it. And there are many lessons that I could leave with you to end 2021. But I have a lesson that has been placed on my heart from the divine and from my ancestors that I just absolutely must share with you here. Not everyone is going to support you in 2022. Not everyone is going to believe in what you're doing. Not everyone is going to lend their efforts to help you do what you want to do. And not everyone is going to support, be there for you when you need them, the way that you were there for them when they needed you. You see, in my life, that keeps happening to me. I'm there. I make myself available for whosoever needs me. And then when it's time for me to need someone, I can't find anyone. But you know, a lifetime of dealing with that has taught me a lot of lessons. I've learned to depend on myself. I've learned to trust myself. And I've learned to do what I need to do. But while doing it, create a safe space where no negativity could enter. No haters, nothing of the sort. Because I can't hear them outside of this safe space. We want the people closest to us to support us. It's jarring when they don't. It's even more jarring when they won't. Because see, don't and won't are two different things. Understand that. It's very jarring when they don't support you. But when they know what you do and they won't support you, that's a hurt of another color. But sweetheart, I'm here to tell you that you can make it through that. You see, for the last five years, I gave social media five summers, five winters, five springs, and five falls, and every holiday in between. And I realized something. I was being used and taken advantage of. So I had to make decisions for myself and for my well being and for my health. And I had to pull back. I started another venture. Now I'm talking to other people, great minds, thinking alike, having conversations, beautiful conversations. And the ones that support me, you guys are watching those. And I appreciate that. I learned something about this year, about me in this year. I'm attractive. People do enjoy listening to what I have to say, what I have to give, what I have placed in my heart and on my heart to transmit to the world. They do. But in 2022, I'm going to make sure that I not only give you what's on my heart, but that you compensate me, that I am paid to do what I do. Because sweetheart, I spent a lot of money to get to this point and I need to recoup a lot and then turn a profit. I asked a lot of creators, content creators, to help me monetize my platform. And they wouldn't. Because people want you to do better than, don't, people want you to do well, but not better than them. And I understand that. 
It's the game. But guess what? That's not the game that I have to play. You see, I choose to be me. And I choose to help those who need help. Because at the end of the day, they can't be me. You can't be me. A Fortune 500 company with lots and loads of money to do what they want to do can't be me. I am the linchpin in my organization. I am the pro proprietor of what I do. Without me, this whole organization known as the Queen of Shade and the Queen of Shade Entertainment LLC would cease to exist. There will never be another Queen of Shade, not as long as I hold the trademark, ever in life. And I want you to understand something. This is the lesson that I want to give you going in to 2022. When you reach out to people for help that you've helped and they don't help you, they don't lend their efforts, their supports, their expertise, their finances to help you the way you help them, baby, don't get mad. Move on. Don't get mad about who won't do an interview with you. Talking to me. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Well, I support this person and this is that and the other and they know that I'm a good, no. Don't go through it. Some things don't need an explanation. Some things have already been explained. Human behavior. You don't need a dictionary and a thesaurus to break down what people's behavior is toward you. When they don't come to your rescue, don't lend their efforts or their finances. Do not get mad. In 2022, the lesson that I want you to take into 2022 is not to get mad. Save yourself the emotional turmoil. Just move on. And I'm going to tell you why you can move on. Because, sweetheart, you only know a handful of global citizens. There are billions of people on this planet for you to meet. And guess what? You're going to meet your tribe that will support you. Don't get mad at who doesn't and who won't. Just move on until you find your tribe. And I found my tribe the end of 2021. I found my tribe. And unfortunately, it's not this. These people don't support me. They have too many Black beliefs about homosexuality, femininity, trans illusion, transgender. They got too many opinions about things that don't concern them. So I thought I would be supported by my own community because those were the first people that came to me. They identified with me on a physical level. Well, she's black. So we'll listen to her. And I proved to be quite the person worthy of being listened to. But that's where it stopped. They didn't want to invest. Black people have been programmed to disbelieve Black businesses, Black-owned businesses. They will no sooner spend their money with another demographic of people, another race or nationality, because we're all one race. So another nationality of people before they patronize a Black business. But guess what? Not my fault, not my issue. In 2022, I am not getting mad about who doesn't want to work with me. In 2022, starting right now, it actually started two days ago because I did a podcast saying the same thing. But in 2022, I'm not going to care about who I ask to collaborate with me and they don't. 
I'm not getting mad. I'm just going to move on to the next person. I want to let you know something. Sweetie, every single day, a beautiful model-esque woman, a beautiful model-esque man, a fitness nut and guru, health guru, every single day of the year, a beautiful soul, man, male or female, turns 18 years old, turns 21 years old. I will never run out of people to collaborate with. And see, this has been the thread in my work. A long time ago, when I first started the Queen of Shade and we went viral, I said to the divine, I'm nervous. The divine said, why? I said, because I'm scared that I will run out of content. And you know what the divine said to me? Sweetheart. I am an infinite source and you are tapped into an infinite source, which means that you are infinite as well. You will always have something to say. The topic may be love. The topic may be hate. The topic may be life. The topic may be death. The topic may be self-actualization. The topic may be self-empowerment. The, the topic may be self-healing. But guess what? There will be an infinite amount of things to say on every subject because you are tapped into an infinite source, thus making you infinite. I never worried about running out of things to say as the queen of shade, giving one minute messages all over social media. I never worried because the divine had me my ancestors had me and I delivered 22,000 60 second inspiration videos. And guess what? Took me five and a half years. I was prepared to go five and a half more. I've got loads and loads of things to say. I've not run out of things to say, but guess what? It's the same with this new venture of mine. I'd like to thank everyone who is watching the interviews, binge watching the interviews as you, as you guys are writing me and telling me. I appreciate your support, but I'm doing things a little different. I plan to monetize them, plan to get them out there in many different forms and monetize them. And I plan to make a living change. I'm going to leave the country because they've been asking me to do so for so long and I just wasn't ready. I was limiting myself based on where I was and what I had. But oh, I have discovered some things. I have discovered that sweetheart, I should not limit myself based on what I see because the divine truly has me and also has countless, countless numbers and scores of people that will support me, that will uplift me, that will financially invest in what I'm doing. So I had to get all of those non-paying customers out of the front row seats so that my paying customers could sit down and enjoy the show. And that's what I'm doing. But I want you to understand something. In 2022, you're not chasing a single bitch to get their help. You're not chasing a single bitch. I won't allow it. You're not chasing a single bitch to get them to endorse you, to give you validation. You're not doing it, baby. There are billions of people on this planet and you, the stories are infinite. The stories are infinite. Each person on this planet has a different story because no one can be them. They have a different perspective. And what I've learned is to talk to everybody. 
talk to everybody and gather the stories, you know? I'm so gracious for the people that have helped me. I wouldn't be where I am without any of you. You guys put your money where your mouth was. And I'm so thankful. My mother, Cindy Ambivalent, who is a queer rock and roll icon, she said something to me in an interview yesterday because she corrected me. I said, oh, I gave them my best for five and a half years. She said, no, 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 you didn't give them your best. You gave them what you could. And in all actuality, they paid you for what you did. Follow me. It had a cap. It wasn't me having total autonomy and the finance to really expand my visions. Where the divine is taking me and what I am called to do is so much more magnanimous. So in other words, I gave them what they paid for. You wanted free, I gave you free. But guess what? It wasn't the best of me. And I have loads more to say and sing mm -hmm. in my life. And I plan to do just that in front of an audience that will pay me to entertain them. So listen to me again. In 2022, we are not following or begging people to lend their efforts to our outfit. What we are doing is asking. And if they him hum or decline, we are simply moving on to the next person. There is no time to get mad. Just move on. It will spare you a lot of internalization. It will spare you a lot of hurt feelings. It will spare you a lot of time and energy. Just move on. Like a machine. Move on. They said no. Okay, move on. Because sweetheart, as you continue to climb, just like I am, the interviews are getting better. The people being interviewed are getting better. And those people are going to want to get in front of your camera just like they will want to get in front of mine. And guess what? I am such a creature that even when they want to get in front of my camera, I'll let them. Mm -hmm. Because I cannot determine the moment that someone sees value in what I do. And I've had to do it before with every single facet of my career, modeling, music, everything. I've had to prove myself and that's fine. But what we're not gonna do is get upset at a decline. What we're not gonna do is get in our feelings about a decline. No, 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 no. I know so many beautiful black and Latin men struggling and I have helped them. I know so many black and Latin men being taken advantage of by men in power. Well, you gotta do this if you wanna get that. See, I'm not offering those kind of contracts. I don't have to sleep with you in order to help you or give you, show you how to do something. But uh, as many of them know, it's a difficult thing trying to get help. You can't get something for nothing. You can't get something for nothing. So I have restructured how I do what I do. And I'm not mad about it at all. But I am not in 2022 going to be heartbroken or broken or sad because a bitch don't want to work with me. You're a fool. And that's fine. Be a fool. Be a fool. Because there are some, and I remember everyone. It's just a force of habit in my career 
I've heard so many no's. I remember who said no. Mm -hmm. I remember. I will remember who said no. And I may not be as gracious as I think that I can be. I may not be as gracious. But what I'm not going to do and what you're not going to do in 2022 is get mad when somebody doesn't want to collaborate with you. What you're going to do is shake the dust off your feet and go find five other hot guys to work with. I used to get so hung up when, when a guy turned on me. But now I don't get hung up. Why? Because there are five or six or seven or 20 million to, to replace you. You don't want to come on this camera? Fine. I helped build your platform. I gave you the following and the loyalty that you have. But guess what? That's okay. Because guess what? This is not the end for me. This is only the beginning for me. And when you see it take off, remember what you did. Remember what you said. And please, above all things, remember how unbothered I was when you declined. You can't help everybody. You can't help everybody. Doctors save people's lives, but they get paid to do so. That's how the doctor takes care of himself. You couldn't possibly think as an intellectual entertainer that I should just be helping you all for free while my wigs go unwashed and cared for and stockings begin to have holes and uniforms and dresses begin to have holes in them. You've lost your mind. And I've realized I held out for long enough hoping that you guys would have a change of heart. And you didn't. So now I'm going to places where I will be the only black face in the room. And guess what? That's fine. I've been in situations like that. Usually those are high money situations. I'm gonna just say what it is. Usually high earning situations. There's not another black speck in the room. I am the only representation, male and female. But that's okay. The Europeans love me. They love me. They want to pay me to do what I do. And I'd be a fool to try to get my community to match their offer. My community never will. So I must go. That's why I'm restructuring. I must go to where I am wanted, appreciated, and paid. But what we're not going to do on that journey to getting there is be mad when someone doesn't want to collaborate, mad when someone doesn't want to lend their effort, mad when someone doesn't want to lend their support. That's what we won't do. What we will do is be unfuckwithable. Mm-hmm and unbothered and in our mind next mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do all of 2022 so if i ask you if i ask you for an interview because that's what i do i'm asking for interviews and so many people almost a hundred people have obliged me i've done 98 of them in one month force of habit I am a workaholic. It's my best drug. I enjoy it. But 98 of them have said hello and yes. And there are so many more coming. So many more. But what we're not going to do is hang up and get hung up on the ones that didn't come into the fold. Sweetheart, I always say to myself, well, they just need a little bit more time to see it. But you know, when they see it, it'll be too late. I'll be gone to a land where my dreams are going to come true. My dreams 
my coming true. But I had to be one of the ones to speak up and say, you're abusing me. You're misusing me. You're mistreating me. I had to be one of those because it was so important. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. If I didn't tell you guys that I need to be paid and that I expect to be paid because I am an entrepreneur, businesswoman, businessman, you would have never known. And you would have kept on going the way you are going right now, looking at content and not even giving a dollar to the Cash App, the PayPal, or the Venmo. But that's all right. Because I'm moving up. And I'm going to where I am appreciated and going to be paid. And what I'm not going to do is stay where I am being undervalued. So I don't know what your 2022 New Year's resolution looks like, but you need an addendum. And that addendum says, when someone rejects me, when someone puts down what I'm doing, I am not going to get mad. I'm going to move to the next person. And for all of you aspiring models and actors and singers and entertainers and comedians out there, when you hear those no's, do like I did. Move on, keep moving on. Every single no you hear, next, move on. Don't get hung up on a no, because sweetheart, the no's are getting you closer to a real yes, where you belong. See, you could have got yeses along the way, but they could have been very bad contracts where you didn't belong. And they just saw the value and didn't want anyone else to have it. So they snatched it up. But thank God that people didn't really see the value in this. Thank God. I'm so happy about it that they didn't see the value in what's sitting in front of you right now. Because I'd be a slave. I'd be a slave. And I'm not. And I owe that all to this mindset. Not being bothered. Moving on every time I see, received a negative word. Oh, you don't want to work with me? That's okay. I'll go over here and ask these people. That's how I got to where I am. I'll go over here and ask these people, oh, you don't want this, I'll go over here. I always do that. I have nothing to prove. People want me to prove, but I have nothing to prove, especially to my black people, nothing to prove at all. The only thing that I need to do is entertain, do my work and collect my check from the people that want me there, that aren't intimidated, that applaud everything that I do. That's the life that I'm living in 2022. And I'm giving myself the freedom and the liberty and the leeway to do just that. I'm not gonna stick around for no one's abuse. I'm gonna keep moving keep moving on and on and on and collecting my coins and doing what I do because what I do, only I can do. There are a lot of people out here that do things that are similar, but they don't do it like I do it because I'm an individual as they are too. I don't do it like them, they're individuals. But sweetheart, remember what I said. In 2022, don't get mad at anyone. Don't waste your energy, the energy that you could be placing into adventure, into your life, into your healing, into your self-healing, your self-awareness, or your self-actualization. Don't waste any of the energy on anyone. Move on. Don't stay and let people abuse you because you feel you need to be accepted in the hood or among black people. 
Are you crazy? Black people don't buy records. Black people get on YouTube and YouTube the record or SoundCloud the record. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but a majority of them. They don't buy the record. And my mother, the mother of queer rock and roll, Miss Cindy Ambivalent said to me something yesterday. She said, baby, the music wasn't free to make, so it shouldn't be free to listen to. And I agree. None of what I do should be free to listen to because I have value. And I know that I have value. And I'm going to charge my value and then add luxury tax. So happy new year to all of you. On New Year's Day, the Queen of Shade turns six years of age. I will have been doing the Queen of Shade, the trademarked Queen of Shade for six years. Do I regret the time that I gave? No. Do I regret the content that I made? No. Do I regret anything? No. I learned and I worked. And now I can write my own ticket, especially when I'm entertaining audiences that want to see me, have paid to come see me and endorse and uplift and support me. This not worth anything to me in my life. Not a thing. All I've heard is negativity. Oh, you're too feminine. You're too gay. You're too this. They said, oh, you should put on suits. You shouldn't sing that high. They said all those things. And the first people to cover me in press were Londoners. First song to ever go worldwide was a song from my album called Stoic. I'm so stoic. That's what I'm going to be in 2022 and not give one fuck about who doesn't come to my table to eat. Because I built the table. Oh yes, I did, but baby. I'm not getting mad at you because you don't want to have an association with the Queen of Shade. It's you that needs the association and not the other way around. I'm just going to move on. Next, that's what I'm going to do. And it's not just 2022, guys. For the rest of your life, just move on. Now, my, now mind you, a sensitive souls. We do feel that pinch in our chest when someone that we thought would support us doesn't support us. We feel that sting. But guess what? The sting doesn't have to last. You shake it off and you say, it hurts. Acknowledge the pain, it hurts. But I'm not gonna stay here and try to make them work with me, try to get them to change their minds? No, you made up your mind and so did I. I'm not begging anyone to do anything with me in 2022 and you shouldn't either. Not a single person, family, friend or enemy should you have to beg for them to lend you attention, acknowledge who you are, see the value in who you are and what you do. No, I'm just moving on to the next. Don't get mad, resist the urge to get mad and let your mind process, okay? They said, no, next, I'm moving on. Happy New Year to you all. And I'll see you in 2022. But the question is, will you be able to afford to see me, bitch?